Welcome, welcome back, everybody. Back with another episode of Finding Value Fantasy on Underdog. Doing a puppy draft today. Let's get into it. All right, here we are, right back into it. Um, gonna do another live stream probably next week. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of recording some videos, trying to you know get some uploads out there, get some thumbnails, get some practice thumbnails, um, and yeah. So yes, yeah, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna man, I've had a lot of spots around six and seven recently, but uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So yeah, uh, DraftKings just upload just started their. Uh, best ball tournament they have a couple couple contests live and then they have one for three dollar entry i think it's 20 max i think i'm gonna max that i think it's a fun contest to max seems like a pretty good prize pool and um yeah i my dog's coming after me right now (laughs) um but yeah i i think it'd be fun to to kind of mess around with i think it'll be a fun contest to play with and uh yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I'll probably I'll probably max it. Just just uh, max something. <laughs> right when I start the stream, Kai, uh, my dog Kai wants to play. Apparently, um, okay. Uh, Bijan at six. Let's see here. Oh, sure. Why not? Let's have fun. I usually don't take Bijan, but let's do it. Let's have a good time. Oh, what a funny dog. All right, so... Yeah, so I just want to... He wants all the attention now, huh? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I guess I'll stream with him in my arms. Um, so, yeah, so I really think that... Where was I? <laughs> Very unprofessional start here. Sorry, anyone that's listening. But, um, yeah, so Bijan start. Um, I could just, you know, anchor with him, or I could just go, you know, grab some quarterbacks and receivers here quickly. Uh, it just depends what falls. I want to get JT and uh, Bijan, but it's really hard to really make that happen. And I think Bijan's going to rise a little bit more, especially when training camp comes around and people are getting real hyped for Bijan. Uh, I think it's going to get it's going to get worse. So uh, be ready for that. Um, be ready for the hype to just continue to compound on him uh, i think he's yeah he's gonna he's gonna keep going up in draft value i think <clears throat> at least a little bit more maybe a couple of picks a mon rob Bijan would be fun if i get any of these top three i'm pretty happy i don't i don't know about how i feel about saquon but uh, i can make it work so we'll see love jt though that'll be awesome Josh Allen goes. All right, grab all the quarterbacks. You guys need the quarterbacks. Grab them up. Grab the quarterbacks. Let me get JT. Let's see what this guy does. Dang it. (laughs) I had a hope. I had a dream there. I had a dream. Um, hmm. Let's see. this is where i go a monra i think that's just uh just the best spot wow mike williams goes wow all right um all right then <laughs> can i go like Bijan pollard maybe how likely i don't like i'm sure that happens all the time i'll go Bijan a monra um and then go Maybe I can go for like the full Detroit stack. That would be fun. Hmm. 
I just, I'm not gonna be able to take him till 42. I either take Jameer Gibbs at 31 or I take him at, uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I might grab Lamar there at this next pick. Just don't know how I feel about grabbing the other two guys. We'll see. Lamar, right? Uh, I really do wish I got more exposure to him, like bit of, but you know, just needs you lose sometimes. <laughs> Uh, the the schedule's coming out on the 11th, Thursday, uh, May 11th, so I'm excited for that, too. I'm going to try to get some more correlation in my lineups. Hurts goes, okay, so that would be all the QBs that are interesting here. Yeah, I wonder how, how common McCaffrey Saquon is. That's pretty fun. <clears throat> Holmes Hurts. Who's the guy that grabbed Mike Williams? In the... Tyreek Waddle. I wonder how early he's going to take his, his Tua. Where is the Mike Williams guy? He's back here. There he is. Oh, okay. I see a lot of people doing this strategy, just grabbing all like the, the people they want, like from a team. Um, you know, I hate it. It's something unique. Not, not many people are doing that because they are really, you know, concerned with the values that they're receiving. So I could reach for the field stack. Um, I don't know about that though. I don't mind going heavy Detroit at all. We'll see who's there. Maybe uh, if, if honestly one of these guys are here, I, I smash these guys there. Devontae or Higgins, I just take either of them. And then I can take Lamar or Fields on the way back. Um, or I can go Gibbs if he's there for some reason. So Devontae goes. I'll take Higgins. Higgins goes. Sad. Okay. And Ramondre goes. All the people I liked in that range. Okay. Um, hmm. I have like no fields exposure. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of time to get him. He's not really moving much. So that's fine. I'll survive. I think I don't think I have a single field share, honestly. Or, like, I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but I, I really think I like, barely have any field, field shares. We'll see. I think I'm really curious, like if the other quarterbacks will fall down a little bit, or they're just gonna keep staying where they are, like all season long. I think that really. The question, uh, one thing I think about too is like, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Like, I guess that's what the point is. <laughs> um, like, one thing I think about a lot is like, man, market interest would be fun here. Um, I think about a lot is just what is the cutoff of like when you could take two quarterbacks? Like, can you take two quarterbacks like within the first like eight picks and you're good? Or if you take two within the first four picks, you're dead? That's what I have a kind of concern with. I think I'd like to say that you could probably make it work if you go like Lamar and I don't know, Gino, Lamar and I mean, he's the latest I would go like, like Lamar and T-Law feels like probably too much. Like I like the A-Rich, the Dak, Tua. Like, I think this is the, the biggest range you can go in terms of like who you grab. You can grab Mahomes and like, a Ridge, Mahomes, and what, and uh, Prescott, or you go Mahomes and like one of these other guys, like late, late. Um, man, I should have got him. <clears throat> okay, that makes it a little bit more complicated here. So even the Burrow stack like seems interesting. Like just the grabbing, like like not. I wouldn't grab Burrow now. It's just I don't know if you think. It makes you think sometimes. Um, I'll grab Mario. I really don't grab him very much, but uh, I mean, he's just infinite, man. The dude just continues to just keep hitting value and being good. So 
I'll, I'll buy in. I'll buy it. Um, we'll see. See what he ends up doing this season. <clears throat> we'll see what he decides to do. <laughs> okay, so I could definitely... I mean, you can always get likely late too, but I, you know, I want to get the Mark Andrews premium stack. I don't know if I have any premium Lamar stacks yet. I have like two receivers, but I don't have the tight end on top of it, which I I would like to get. Mark Andrews goes. He could have easily fell there. Dang that guy. Okay. Um, Najee's an interesting pick too. This guy's got three receivers or three running backs, three receivers. I got two, one. Pretty balanced for me. I don't know how far I want to stretch this Bijan pick because I can probably wait. Like I don't mind going Dobbins, and uh, yeah, I think what I've heard is uh, Baltimore could be the new Eagles, and I think that's true. And also, like you know, you can have the new like Packers from a couple years ago, or like a new uh, last year was Seattle was the big team, and not even people, not many people even drafted Geno, which is a crazy thing about it. So. Andre Dobbins. <clears throat> Where's Zay going? Okay, I think I'll reach to make sure I get my guys here. My Zay and my Bateman double stack with Lamar, with Dobbins, hopefully. So Dobby will probably be my next pick here. <clears throat> um, my T Mac would be good too. I think I might grab T Mac if he's there. I like Dobbins a lot, but I just gonna have to pass on him here for now. <clears throat> there he goes, anyways. Okay. Kittle's fun at this at this price, also. <clears throat> like I think you could grab Fields and T Law and just stop. Like you, obviously, you have to stop there. But it's like, is that viable? Is it not? I don't know. It's. I feel like it could be. I feel like it really could be. But what do I know? I'm just practicing, trying new things. So I can grab one more receiver and then probably a safe flower season and then Bateman. I could probably wait till. Hmm. Yeah, it might be safe flower season at like 77 here. No, I can wait till 90. Okay, that's what I'll end up doing. I'll take all two picks and then I can go Zay, hopefully. Um, let me take one of these rookies to the next pick. <clears throat> or, uh, Tight end, Pitts, Goddard, Waller. Who's that? Who just went? <clears throat> Jason. Okay. <clears throat> AJ Brown, Ceedee Lamb, Jamar Gibbs, Jackson Smith, and Andrews. That is a fun start. That's a fun start. Jealous. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I just I really think that like you could do that, and it, and it might be worth it. I don't know how worth it would be, but I think you could make it work. Just because, yeah, you'd be dominating at quarterback. But the bet that you'd want to make is like, okay, I pick a quarterback that's gonna be in my lineup almost every time, and then I pick one guy that's just there for you know security. It's better than kind of like dumping two heavy picks on quarterback. So, but then again, if you get a couple of good quarterbacks on your team. Then you have two like individual chances, assuming they're stacked up to like, you know, get some upside late. So let's see here. So I just got the man, the solo stacks rough. That's okay. Might not even be, might not be worth getting uh, any more Detroit guys. We'll see what see what the prices we have to pay. Or... Right, it goes to the Josh Allen guy. Wilson Metcalf Pitts goes to man. No tight ends for me. Looks like I'm going late tight end. <clears throat> I think I think tacking likely on is very smart. Uh Andrews gets hurt, likely he's gonna be amazing. Even if he doesn't, he probably will be um worth a pick. See, this is this is interesting. All right. Uh ooh, man. I 
Welcome back, Evans. And then I probably want to get any of these dudes, like, in this range. Where's Pickens at? Is he already gone? George Pickens goes 60. Okay. I wonder what he's going to be like this year. I didn't. I mean, obviously he made some insane plays, but he just didn't impress me that much last year. Who knows how good he's going to end up being? Did not impress me like I would have expected. Yeah, I just gotta hope I get Zay. Well, yeah, it's one pick and then Zay on the next one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can make it work. It's scary. <laughs> I want all my guys. But I also don't want to pay a premium for all of them. So. The Riss Lamar ride is pretty crazy, though. Like, a lot of people like that draft them a little bit earlier are getting like an extra fifth round pick in their pocket, basically. Or like, I don't know, you can equate to like an extra seventh round pick, which is pretty valuable still. Um, it's not like a crazy rise, but like two rounds when you're like going fifth to like the third or the second is um, a big deal <clears throat> when it's this high up in the trap board. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, A-Rich is always a fun pick here. Um, did Zay go? Oh, man, someone took Zay Flowers. And I'm in events pain now. <clears throat> That's all right. <clears throat> I really like Bateman at cost. <clears throat> Double stack Tampa. Or go Traylon. I mean, he's like the only receiver there, right? Like, he's got to get some good volume. Well, who knows if that mindset is actually correct, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll take Bateman my next pick. Um, well, oh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe JMO my next pick. But he's like a follower. JMO's a pretty heavy follower at this point. So I'm either going Goff with my second QB, or I'm going uh, Howell. I think I'm leaning Howell. <clears throat> Wish I would have got T-Mac though with that uh, Amari Cooper pick. Might have been the Dobbins pick. <clears throat> Not sure where he went. Look at the draft board here. I've been looking at that much. Bateman goes, man. These people just want me to feel the pain right now, dude. What in the world? <clears throat> Damn, that sucks. All right, well. And now we're gonna do some weird stuff here. Do we want to like heavy stack? Can't stack pick it anymore. We can heavy stack howl. We can heavy stack. Houston, we could full stack Houston. We can also stack Green Bay up like three times. Excuse me, Dotson. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm tilting now. All right. Um, <clears throat> I could still go to Detroit. Um, wow, dude, what in the world is this Bateman stuff? Gosh, that's fine. I'm I'm okay. Like I got I got Lamar. You know he's gonna. Have a good year. I might not have his pass catchers to go along with them. Not all of them, but 
still going to reap the benefits of having Lamar in my team. Just have to hope that the other pieces hit. <clears throat> I'm still going to get likely, and I guess uh, maybe I'll get OBJ if he falls far enough. Michael Thomas, huh? <clears throat> hmm. Javante. At least, uh, at least these people aren't scared to reach. I mean, that's cool with me. Um, we're going to get some values off of it, <clears throat> hopefully. I think, yeah, B. John Dobbins could be really good. Could capture, like, a lot of the touchdowns. Like, Lamar's going to run some in, Lamar's going to throw some in, and then Dobbins is going to run some in as well. Could catch, like, all the touchdowns that way. And then I'll have likely backstacked late. Um, yeah, I got to get likely here. And then Odell's an option as well. Just don't know where. I don't know where he's gonna settle at. I feel like there's got to be some shift between these guys. It looks like Bateman's like the follower, which is uh, sure is surprising. He's the cheapest guy right now of the three. Quarterbacks are going so what early? Because I'm only a couple picks ahead of ADP. Oh, yeah, he grabbed him at, at, at cost. Yeah, I like that. Well done. <clears throat> well done. If you get the 2 a waddle stack at cost and out to reach, you're good. I mean, because everyone else, tons of people are getting it at cost. So there's no reason to, to push it too far. Hmm. Well, there's two options here. Not neither of these guys I'm like really thrilled to pick, honestly. It's just this the crappy part, but <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'll get JMO. <clears throat> um, and I'll go likely late and grab Goff with my next pick. If OBJ's there, I'll take him, but I just, yeah. I just can't. I can't do it. Can't do it at cost. And I think JMO's probably done moving down, to be honest. I think there's a chance he falls a little bit. like. But Hopkins is going at like 50. And Hopkins is a very proven commodity. We don't really know what JMO's going to be. But I like to say he's a guy that's like, you know, he's going to get you like 100 yards and a touchdown, or he's going to get you like 20 yards and two catches. So just a ceiling guy that's probably a good pick in uh, best ball. You know, better in best ball type of guy. If this room will let me get him, I'll take him. OPJ. If I'm not dying to get him. I also need golf, and I don't think both of them will slip to me on the wraparound, so. Hmm. Golf goes. All right, then. These guys just hate me, man. All these drafters just don't like me. <sighs> man. All right. Well, at least I'm getting OBJ at a discount. And then I'll get... Yeah, I mean, I got I got the hollow stack set up, so it's whatever, I guess. Gibson, I can go next. 
Kendra Gibson. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. I start filing some capital into running back, tight end, and quarterback, though, now. So, even though I do kind of want, I could still make a bet on Detroit without having golf. I don't need golf to make a bet on Detroit, so that's fine. Chain, Damian Harris, Jacoby Myers. I keep forgetting he's on the Raiders. It's so strange to me. It's so strange. Uh, Jimmy's like completely off my radar, which I don't think I'm worried about Jimmy, you know, destroying me. But you can definitely have good weeks. You can definitely throw 303, you know, any given week. But that might be about as far as I expect him to, to be able to go. How many? How many of these? Uh, Howell, Dotson, Gibson stacks am I gonna have? Apparently a lot. Cause there's just no tight end there that's even remotely, remotely interesting. So I know what my next two picks are looking to be: Gibby and Kendra. Kendra has been kind of hard to get at cost, so I don't know if he'll fall or not. Chicago backfield is pretty fun to think about. I I think one of them is going to emerge to be a pretty big value unless they just full three-headed monster it. I really think that like one of them is going to emerge as like a smash pick because I think it'll probably be like a one guy's the main guy, then two guys are kind of like supplemental to each other. Uh, so it'll be a three-headed monster, but I think one will still get the bulk, like maybe 60, and then it'll be like 20 and 20 for the other two. Um I'm a Herbert guy for sure, but I, it it could be any of them. Roshan is a good prospect, and uh, Deontay Foreman was not um, no slouch last year. So, yeah. Rasheed Rice, how much? Yeah, I think I think Rasheed Rice has a, a good chance of being top 100 picks. Um, Addison's already there. You know, all these guys are gonna get up there. I think even Mims. Uh, Marvin is one of my favorite late picks. Uh, I think he'll get up there too. There's Sky Moore going. All these Chiefs options right next to each other. <clears throat> He's going heavy running back and grabbing his guys, huh? Just getting your guys. Cortland Sutton. All right, I like it. All right, yeah, definitely turn off the receiver faucet for a few rounds here. Uh, I might, yeah, I might be done at receiver with this. Well, I have six. We'll think about it, I have six receivers, technically. So maybe I turn on the faucet for one more. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, maybe I had one more at the very end. So, I mean, the Dotson, Burks, Evans, Cooper, Brown seems more than enough, and then I'll have Beckham, you know, in there, and then Dot, and then uh, Williams will be back for six weeks. So. Should be more than enough, but just keeping that keep in mind, like if you know players are missing time, like how that leaves you at your positioning. So if you like if you know you're drafting Javante and he's gonna miss like probably six games or more, or you know, who knows? And you take like three other running backs, make sure those running backs are rock solid because it, otherwise you're just you're like risking like having two live quarterbacks going into the full year and that's like or live running backs and that is a not a thread I wanna not a needle I wanna thread the whole season so injuries happen very very uh rapidly at the running back position so i wouldn't try to thread that needle that's for sure see if he falls with me i i'm not not convinced he will but we'll see i'll take i guess either of them and i think kendra is the one that people usually gravitate towards but 
Uh, I mean, I'm gonna keep trying to take them when I can, but it's just not easy to, to grab them. How about you guys all auto pick? How about that? Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna get one of them probably. One of these guys got to like Adam Thielen. Ooh, the A-Rich stack. That's fun. This guy's got the chart. This guy's just doing his own thing, I'm pretty sure. So he might go haywire and grab. Maybe he'll grab a giant. <clears throat> Kyler, okay. Please. Please. We want Kendra here. We like the Kendra here. Oh, I thought he picked. I thought he picked Kendra. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. All right, it feels good. Great. Okay, so now, now we know what we're doing the rest of the way. We have two tight ends we like, and then, I mean, probably. Just grab one of these dudes. Just a dude back here. Hurst. McBride. I feel like if I'm like a Dallas stack, I could get the Schoenmacher guy, but I feel like it probably isn't worth grabbing otherwise. Musgrave. This guy is moving up a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah I'll do that. So I got Baltimore, Cleveland, Tennessee, by himself, uh, New Orleans, Tampa Bay, uh, Baltimore, Cleveland, Detroit, nobody. Yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta, New Orleans, and Tampa Bay all, all like stacked up a little bit there. That's cool. And I'm getting another Detroit piece. Hmm. I hope Powell gets to play a whole year, and, and I don't know if he's going to be good or not, but I like him, and I think he, I think he'll be solid at least. And if they move off from next year, that's fine. I just want to get one year of Powell and just see what happens. And if I'm dead wrong about him being like solid, then I'm dead wrong. But I just want him to have a chance to do it. But him not having a chance is basically the same thing because it shows us as a you know fancy consumers that he might not have been good enough to get a chance for a full year. So. All right. Jawan was pretty solid last year. I really, I really wonder how good uh, Ersner is going to end up being. I think that's a fun, fun pick. He ends up being good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. My next two picks will probably be tight end. I'll reach for Irv. Like, just nothing else here that's really interesting. Probably gonna grab one more running back. Um, I can go Warren. I can go Chuba. Um. TT. Sorry, I'm not I'm looking at a uh, receivers. Also, can't stop me from getting receivers. Tim Patrick. Where's Marvin Mims at? 181. Okay. Yeah, I think I want Irvy here. Um, it's either that or Jalen Warren. And I'll just get Irv, and we'll see what we can get next. I think I just grab Laporta, and then. Piece running back is to go because I think Bijan would be my anchor, and then I got three other guys that could be very solid. So I think I'm okay with that as is. And then I'll just add one guy late, whether it be Chuba or somebody else. But first tight end off the board, grab an Irv Smith as you know. I don't know. I think I'll do a lot of punt tight end builds, but you should definitely mix in a lot because you never know. One Kelsey's gonna go for 40, and you're gonna want to have him for like the end of the year. So. 
But like for Kelsey to pay off is like he needs to smash in the playoffs because he needs to like separate from everyone, and he can't easily do that. He doesn't even need, like he get like twenty five and separate from tight end, and that could be valuable, like more valuable than Justin Jefferson getting thirty. So because you're separating, and there's people like in the back. It's probably people in the tenth round plus that can get you thirty at the receiver positions, depending on who they are. Um, so that's the difference. And there's like only like a select handful of tight ends that can actually get you 30 points. So. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> One dollar. I think I'm just going to reach on Laporta. Yeah, I'll be a reach. I'll be a reacher. Why not? Whatever. Just live a little. Just live a little, you know. Yeah, Porta. Always feels like it's so long between my picks, but I'm just not used to chatting while I'm drafting. <clears throat> but I wouldn't trade it. Okay, so I go, gonna go a running back and then probably receiver and then end with my, my back stack of quarterback and um, tight end with likely. Yeah, okay. I like this. It's a fun team too. Um, I had the Detroit stacked up. I got Baltimore double stacked. Um, about to be triple stacked. Detroit's about to be triple stacked. Um, got some correlation in there, some mini correlation. Um, a lot of NFC South action, which I'm cool with. Um, yeah, I don't. We'll see. We'll see if uh, Mr. Jalen Warren's there. Because then, if I'll just take Jalen Warren if he's there, easily gonna snag that. But okay, let's see. Miami's up by eight. Young and Trey Lance with the shark stack. This guy's getting all the good stuff. I have Rashid Zahid have a have a have a picture. All the other second year players do. Give that man a pick. Underdog, come on. Some respect on his name. All right. I have a few more picks here. This draft is going much faster than my last couple, so that's uh, thank you to that, to Underdog Drafters. I have 15, 16, 17, 18, so four picks left. Where do we want to go with these last four? <clears throat> Definitely QB one, tight end one, and then I guess probably your running back and receiver. That's where we're at here, I think. So I do have a receiver luxury pick. Mims or Taekwon, I think, will be the options here. Jail Warren goes, damn. <clears throat> I think this is where I grab... I don't, I don't know about Taishai. I think that's where I grab Chuba. Let's go back on my BS with Chuba Hubbard. And then... Yeah, I'll grab Chuba. And then I'll either grab Taekwon next. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I <laughs> guess I read that wrong. I guess if I grab Chuba, then maybe, if I grab Taekwon, maybe I would have got Chuba still. Man, tough scenes. It's all right. I have another guy I want. And I'll gladly take him. You can't stop me. Come on. Let me get my guy. <laughs> Let me get my guy, Marvin Mims. <clears throat> I 
think about some exposures that I want. I need some more Chris Godwin. Love Chris Godwin. Um, kind of a homer pick, though, so I don't really need that much. But I do want to get some Chris Godwin shares. Uh, I'm going to start keep hammering Howell. I'm going to grab some, hopefully, some field shares. I don't want to have no field shares. Uh, and then... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, some, probably some. Oh, Mims goes sad. I mean, I guess I could. This is not the worst idea. I haven't done that yet. Is anyone else more interesting? I mean, Jaden Reed gone already. He is gone. All right. I think I. I don't. I don't hate that. It's not my preferred option, but I don't hate that at all. Um, so then my last two picks are going to be Howell and likely Sophie. I get both of those guys. Hopefully I'll get sniped on likely. That would really suck. <clears throat> he kind of he kind of puts the cherry cherry. I guess both these guys really put the cherry on top of my team, so I kind of need them. <laughs> so we're just gonna. Gotta hope for that to go our way. Um, anyways, where was I? I think I was just saying, yeah, I want some more exposure to some players towards the top. Like, uh, I definitely gonna want to get a little bit of Mahomes, Fields share, or Mahomes, Fields, and uh, Josh Allen. I don't have much at all. And I think I'll get some exposure in the Superflex, but you don't want to enter a tournament without like any of the top three, four quarterbacks. So. Because those are also slate breakers because you could easily see a scenario where week 15, week 16, the finals come around and one quarterback scores 40 points and the rest of them score 20. And you lose if you don't have any of those 40 pointers. So um, you're going to need it. And it's, it's useful and it's necessary. So I think that's probably the best way to think about it. It's not always going to work out, of course, if you get your premium stacks, but... I think it's definitely worth it. Yeah, quite unfortunate I couldn't get my uh, Taekwon or Barber Mims, but I guess it got me into a different kind of setup to get Curtis Samuel, which I was, was not personally taking very much. So I get the double stack with Curtis Samuel and uh, Dotson. Maybe some contingency, yeah, contingency value if anything happens to McLaurin. But regardless, probably good good value if uh, Howell makes his offense a little bit better, and you know I'll be, I'm down to bet on Eric uh, Bieniemy to be like a good offensive mind and kind of move this Washington offense like a forward a couple steps, and um, you know he's got a lot of <laughs> tough matchups in division. You know Giants, Cowboys, and Eagles are not fun matchups, but um, who knows? I'm not going to really worry about that in terms of like whether I'm picking a quarterback or not or a receiving core. So, but it is something to note that they have some rough, rough, rough matchups. So we got CJ Stroud, Jimmy, Sean Watson, Cousins. Okay, I don't hate that. Kind of expected them to have another late quarterback, not too early ones, but or not too early-ish ones. But I guess it's fine. Yeah, if you're going to do four quarterbacks, I think that's a, an okay way to do it. To leave them thin anywhere. Just kind of doing some evaluation of these teams. Running back seems good. Receiver seems very sketchy. Yeah, so that's where the that's where the thinning came out. So you took four quarterbacks, but he thinned out his receivers big time. Probably spent too much capital on tight end here. Um, so that's kind of how it leads your team. Because you're basically you're relying on Kadarius Tony, KJ Osborne, and... Alec Pierce to be your your point scorer is like almost no way, dude. There's no way. You know what? It's okay. It is okay. Man, that makes you sad. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna keep getting my hollow 
just I nothing's gonna stop me from getting my hollow exposure. I'm not worried about that. It just sucks I triple stacked it and I couldn't get the quarterback, but whatever. It's what it is. Someone wanted howl. See what this uh what this guy's got. At least he has Terry McLaurin. Does it make sense for his team? Not that this makes me really does anything for me, but yeah, whatever. He stacked him up, respect it. Just uh don't respect it in the fact that I wanted him more, so that sucks. Um that's okay. There's options back here. And, you know, I'm playing for Lamar to have a really good season, so I just would much prefer to have Howell as my backup than someone else, but, you know, whatever. Because I don't know what Baker's going to do for this team. Like, Howell, I could see him actually, like, getting some higher scoring games, but, like, I can't see Baker, like, doing anything for this team. But get Levis. Is he going to have a chance by the end of the season? I don't think so. I'm going to trail on Burke's stack with that. I think I'm just going to get Baker. Better chance that they just ride with Baker the rest of the season because I'm not sure if Trask is really that good. So, Man, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. That's the way it is. I'm not going to complain too much about it. This is a pretty fun draft either way, um, and a lot of things fell my way. I, did I feel like I got sniped on a lot of things, but... That's the same of the game, man. You can't show, you can't control your drafters in your room. You just got to, you know, adapt and learn. So I'm not going to complain too much. But I will complain that I wanted my Sam Al stack, and I'm sad. <laughs> but that's all right. As long as I don't get signed on Baker, I'll, I won't tilt anymore. <laughs> and that would be quite the thing to happen if I do get sniped on him. So that would, yeah. Not going to jinx it. Nope, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This guy has no idea what I want. Beautiful. Cool. So I got the Baker, Mike Evans, stack late. Um, nothing else, unfortunately. I mean, I might have considered like Kate Otten or something somewhere. but And also Rashad White, I did pick. at some. I could have picked Rashad White instead of Traylon at one point, too. So uh, had I known that, maybe I would have swapped somebody like Gibson for a uh, running back. Or grab, you know, instead of Traylon, grab the running back instead of Gibson, grab the receiver. That would have been the only thing I would have really changed this team and then probably wouldn't have grabbed Curtis Samuel either. But, you know, all in all, I think I'm still making bets on things that I like. Baltimore to take a step, Washington to take a step, um, Detroit to take a step, um, and yeah, that's more than enough for me. So that was a fun draft. I appreciate everyone that stuck around and watched it. Um, I know this is a pre-recorded, uh, it's not like a live stream, but you know, even if you're taking 20 minutes, 30 minutes out of your day to watch uh, these videos i really really appreciate it um leave a comments if you have any questions concerns thoughts anything you know suggestions anything like that i'm happy to hear some feedback as long as they're respectful um you know i'm always always uh my ears are open my eyes are open trying to just to take in information and try to become a better uh, drafter and a uh, content creator and just try to get better at what i'm doing here at uh, finding value so appreciate everybody being here um more streams up the pipeline more uh some guests soon. I'm just going to kind of like get myself situated first before I start bringing guests on, but guests for sure. Um, camera, camera drafts at some point too. Um, so a lot of things in the works. So I really, um, just thank you guys all for being on me with this, being with me on this journey. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, have a good week and, uh, enjoy the schedule release. And hopefully you get some, some matchups that you're excited for, for the upcoming NFL season. So that being said, peace out everybody.